Hello my friends, welcome to my channel, Abandoned Places Around the World. Hi friends, in this episode you will find a huge selection of abandoned fire trucks around the world. The emergence of specialized firefighting equipment began in the 17th century. It was then that people came up with the idea to improve the manual method of extinguishing the fire and to connect pumps to barrels of water, so the range of the water increased to 6 meters. And this was a real progress. The history of development of fire engines in the world. At the beginning of the 19th century, scientists from different countries thought about using steam pumps in fire extinguishing. The very first fire engine in the world appeared in England in 1829. It was invented by hydraulic engineer George Braithwaite. The invention was named Novelty. The pump on this fire engine was rated to deliver 200 gallons of water to a height of 90 feet. Despite the high performance of Novelty, the engine was never put into service. Braithwaite continued development and in 1932, by order of the King of Prussia, he created fourth fire truck, which was named Comet. The boiler here were already with double cylinders and pumps. It was this model that was put into mass production for Germany. At the same time as Braithwaite, work on improving the technical means of fighting fire was carried out in America. In the United States, the first fire engine appeared in New York in 1841. It was Paul Ropsey Hodges' invention. The city government has made an order, the car must be transported by horses and the height of the water supply must be at least the level of the location of the city hall's flagpole. Hodges' development even surpassed technical specifications in terms of technical characteristics. It gave out a stream of water one and a half inches in diameter above the designated point. But due to competition with companies producing hand pumps, it never entered the fire service. The second attempt to improve firefighting equipment in America comes from Moses Latte from Ohio. It was he who became the father of the first successful steam car in the United States, which was tested in 1852. Its advantage was the supply of water through the hose 120 meters at a distance of 45 meters. This is what convinced the Cincinnati City Council to sign a treaty with Latte. The first successful American fire engine was called Joe Rose, or as the townspeople called it, Uncle Joe Rose. Everyone immediately appreciated the technology of water supply from two, four and six hoses at the same time. Two years after the first experiment, the residents of Cincinnati voluntarily raised money to build another car, which they later called the gift of the citizens. At the time, its performance was astounding, pumping water through a two and a half inches hose up to 297 feet in just 3 minutes and 11 seconds after being turned on. Photos of the first fire engines developed in the United States have survived to these days. In appearance, they resembled mini steam engine and the people called them steam elephants. In 1890 in Germany, Justus Christian Brown company produced the first self-propelled steam car and already in 1901 it showed the world how electric energy can be useful in the fight against the fire and tested a gasoline car. Engineers have developed a self-propelled vehicle Adler with a battery and an electric motor. 
it was a rather huge structure with speed were no more than 30 km per hour. At the same time, it was able to transport up to 12 barrels at once and gave a space for a minimum set of firefighting equipment. There were no containers with water on it yet. That was finished later by engineers from England.
don't forget to subscribe and like it. Thanks for sharing and bye bye.